call today, today we're crashing cars as the first day of a five day crash reconstruction conference. The reason we crash these cars is to help these folks validate the training that they've received for a couple of reasons. One, to give people hands on training for a crash investigation, crash reconstruction. And what this does is it validates the training they've received through the various means that they get it through college, other courses, uh, their experience as police officers, engineers. And they get to come in, put their hands on the cars, uh, they get to see it, smell it, feel it, and then they can apply what they've learned to this crash. And then on Friday, the last day of our conference, the folks who have done the crashes will come in and do an um, uh, overview of the crash testing, uh, talk about the crashes they conducted, the speeds, what their analysis of the crashes were, and some of these folks who, who put their hands on this can validate what they've done by knowing what happened in the crash and comparing it to what they've done and calculating and analyzing the crash. The importance of doing this for police officers is so they can get their crash investigations correct. You know, if you're involved in a crash, you want the police officer who's there to investigate in your crash, you want them to get the investigation correct and get it right. And by coming out here and, and learning advanced techniques in collision investigation, they have the ability to do that. And by studying the physics of this crash, it might help them understand uh, the physics of a crash that they may investigate on the road when they're out working. So it works hand in hand. You have training, you have live testing, and then you have real life experience to go out and work with.